This is a good, give you a good reason why everybody should try to cover their uh, nesting tubes after they've been capped and after the season is over because these were back in a meadow behind my house. I just stuck some tubes in a box, thank you USPS, and uh, stuck them out by a barn and they were, a lot of them were filled but you can see now that I've put them inside a mesh bag, it's actually half mesh and half uh, plastic because it's really for monarch butterflies. But anyway, you can see that these, how many of these little chalcid wasps just keep hatching. I mean, there are just dozens and dozens that have hatched the last few, uh, maybe the last, over the last week. And they're just awful. They'll get in those, uh, you can almost see, I hope you can see anyway. They have those, yeah, there you go, those long ovipositors sticking out their back end and off their abdomen, and they uh, go into these to tubes that don't have this cardboard outer um, piece, and they lay their eggs. Their eggs hatch much more quickly than the native bee eggs, and they end up eating the bee's food supply and the bee. Uh, so, these are bad guys. They're, you can see they're tiny. They're maybe a quarter of an inch long, but they do a terrible amount of damage. So, these have already gone into the tubes, obviously, out in the meadow, and uh, somehow got inside the tubes that were not plugged and uh, have obviously laid a lot of eggs in there. So, anyway, good, good lesson, good reason to... Uh, Cover those t your tubes as quickly as you can. Probably a lot of damage was done because of these little ugh, yucky things. Oh well.